Uh, I do want to uh, welcome our very distinguished panelists. Uh, you, of course, uh, have uh, seen uh, their introductions uh, on the screen. Uh, but what I would just like to add is apart from the fact uh, that uh, in all of their uh, various domains, uh, they have uh, very much distinguished themselves, uh, not just in terms of uh, you know, the work that they're doing, but also as, as thinkers and leaders uh, in a very unique fashion. Uh, and we are very fortunate this morning to have a blend of people who are very active uh, at the national level uh, in the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha but also two very distinguished leaders from our state assemblies, from Madhya Pradesh uh, and Assam, and with very long track records at the state level as well. Uh, so we have a very good blend in terms of you know, the politicians uh, that we have uh, on, on the dais. And then of course, uh, with uh, Sri Surya Prakash Ji, we have someone who has been studying and observing and writing about uh, India's parliament and India's governance system for some 30, 35 years. So the blend of perspectives and hopefully ideas uh, that we have on the panel, I hope, uh, will lead to a very, very interesting discussion. Now, we want to have a somewhat different discussion this morning. And I've already uh, requested uh, my uh, distinguished colleagues on the dais to come up and speak for a very brief and succinct five minutes, perhaps going up to seven minutes, but certainly no more. So they'll come up and they'll provide their perspectives on India's governance uh, system. And then thereafter, we'll have a freewheeling discussion. And certainly it'll be one that uh, I will ask uh, my panelists uh, to speak up on, but I hope we'll be able to get good questions from the audience as well. So we want to make it very engaging and interactive uh, in that sense. But before we launch into the proceedings, I just want to showcase three or four themes that we should be touching on, I think, this morning. But first, before I get into those themes, let me ask a question. I'd like a, a show of hands from my panelists as well. Do we, audience members, those of us on the panel, do we believe, and I'll raise my hand or not raise my hand as well, do we believe that India's governance model today, as it is, what was formulated in our constitution, and what we have working in practice today. Do we believe that this governance model is working well for India or not? Could I get a show of hands or not? Is it working well? Yes. Those who believe it's working well, please raise your hands. I'm not. So clearly, clearly, I, I actually sadly, sorrowfully, but not surprisingly, I don't see a single hand that's up. No one hand, there is a gentleman there. Or maybe a couple. Good, good. I will expect, I will expect, uh, I will expect a question or something, you know, a comment from you all later on. So clearly all of us, almost unanimously, believe that our governance system isn't working well. And if it's not working well, I'll pose the following four issues. And then, you know, we'll have our distinguished panelists come up and give us their short perspectives on this. The following four issues. Number one. Do we, in fact, through our constitution and what we've established in practice, do we have a governance model that really is anchored in our civilization and in our culture? And that's something that, uh, you know, my friend uh, Sanjeev Sanyal and I have written on. But I want to ask that very basic question. Do we have a governance model that fits the Indian ethos? Question one. Question two. Even if we assume that question, even if we assume that the answer is yes, how are our different branches of government working? Are they in balance? Are they in balance or not? And in particular, I'll ask the question about our judicial system. Is it in balance relative to the legislatures, legislature and the executive branch? That's issue number two. Issue number three, and that's why I'm very pleased that we have two people that have been so active and such major contributors at the state level, is how is our governance working not at the national level but at the state level? Are our branches of government working there? How are the checks and balances between the three different branches of governance at the state level? I think that's a very important question for us to ask. And the fourth one, and I expect that there's going to be the most heated discussion on this one, which is 
how are our parties doing? How are our parties doing? And here I look to Himantaji a little bit because he's, he's had a chance to be in multiple parties. <laughs> how are our parties doing in contributing to our governance system, our governance model? I think these are four very, very live, very rich, fertile areas for discussion. Uh, at some level, I am uh, not quite happy. We only have 90 minutes. But hopefully, by cramming all of this in 90 minutes, we'll have a very engaging and entertaining morning. So I very much look forward to that. Thank you all for being here.